Hi, it's Ronick from Ask Audio at NAMM 2017. I'm here with Frederick from IRCAM. How are yeah. you doing? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Cool. Cool, cool to be under the rain in California. That's something Yeah, it's like very, that. very, very, very strange. Yeah, yeah. But we have something quite good, something warming to look at. Uh, the snail. It's, um, you could call it a tuner software, but it's much, much more than that. Yeah, it's, let's say it could be a tuner, it's a visualizer, um, it's an education tool, it's a practicing, you know, to, if you have to practice vocal, if you have to practice instruments, that's a nice tool to play with. And we are in a new generation and every kid wants to have a multimedia so, and then hits the multimedia things. You have the proof by the pictures of what you are doing uh, in terms of instruments and you link the visual to your ears and to your instrument practice. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, the, the interface is beautiful. It's obviously uh, circular. Um, you uh, can this see... This is what we call it a snail. Um, the idea is you have circles, and each circle is an octave, okay? And after that, you have all the half tone. In the middle is a, qu is a quarter tone, eight, and one on 16. Then it's really, it's really precise, and you can have all the seven octave of the piano that you can see directly there. The other advantage of this is you don't only see as any tuner in the world, you just see the fundamental, you know, the main frequency. Here you see the frequency and you see the harmonics of the sound. Okay. Then you can directly, uh, if I'm, let's say, then if I'm singing, um, uh, then I can freeze and then suddenly I see my note here. Then if I'm going there, I see my harmonic two, I'm going there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I have fundamental, harmonic two, harmonic four, harmonic eight. Then, you know, that's real. It's a, a new way of visualization. And um, let's say that if we are taking another example, um, let's take a simple example like a piano. Then you see the note, and you see the harmonic of the note, you know? Okay. And it's detecting the polyphonic notes. That means if you have a, 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 a track and you want to see which note is played, you just have to look at it and you see. Now I, I'm playing the <laughs> note. I'm playing the note. I'm playing a, a chord. Then I can see the doors E and G. You see? Um, now the other thing that you have is you can choose the notes that you want to have in the, in the center. Okay? Then if I want to have the F, I can put the F and you have the rest. Okay? And I can choose that. If you are playing a tuning instrument, you can choose like trumpet in C, etc. And you just have to select the C. Uh, the note language French with Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Si, Do, or English with A, B, C. Then the range, then you know how many circles you want to see. Um, then the frequency, tra the frequency tracking is just the precision of it. You know, just how to see the, the precision is done. Um, and let's say then you have two other ways to see a sound. You have this, you have a spectral view, and you can see which note is played, okay? And you have a tuning staff. Then the machine is detecting the note automatically, and then... Then if I freeze it, uh, the thing that you can see is then this is a note, okay? Ah, she disappeared. <laughs> um, and you have the waveform there um, at the bottom as well. Yeah. Cool. Then here you have the knot. Then if you are perfect... Hey, come on. He doesn't want to play the game. Voilà. Here you have the knot, okay? When you are... Your form, when she's absolutely in the middle and on, the, on this uh, knot, keep precisely, and if this is not turning, you are absolutely in tune. It's more precise than the Peterson tuner. Right. Yeah, we are 0 0.2 hertz for, you know, that's, it's really a precise instrument. And you have different view on it, then you have a mode of listening to music or tuning the instrument. Then if I'm playing some music, it's quite interesting too. Um, let's play some Beethoven stuff. Ah, I'm taking the freeze off. Then you see the knot. Then we see, you know, playing that. And what we can see is that the note is not precisely on the B, just because the orchestra is playing at 4-4-6. Four, four, 
Then I change that and I go to 446. Ah. Uh. Boom. And then suddenly, up, the machine is correcting, and now we are precisely where we want. Okay. okay. So, right. when is this going to be available? It's available. It's available yeah, now. you can, you can, you go to Earcam Lab, that's the name of the collections, mm -hmm. and on the site you have the snare, is on Mac and PC, VST, standalone, audio unit, AX, then for all, you know, the host that you can have, or all the dough that you can have is working on. Cool, and uh, what's the price of this? The price is going to be 49, it's 49 dollars. 49 dollars? Yeah, for, for a perfect tuning, and, um, and anyway, we made a, a version on iPhone. Ah. Then you can have the same thing on iPhone, the tuning, and on what, in one month on iPad. Oh, wow. This is fantastic. Thank you so much, Frederick. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.